All right, so how do you legally start a food truck? There is a lot of information out on the internet about food truck businesses and all of the successes that people seem to have, but how do you actually legally start one? And what are the types of ways that you can incorporate a food truck to make your business legal? So in this video, we're gonna dive into a, three different types of legal entities and see which one is really the best for a food truck and how do you get a food truck legally started. So let's dive into it. All right, so let's get right into it. Welcome to Food Truck Freaks. This is YouTube's brand new food entrepreneur channel dedicated to food truck entrepreneurship specifically. And we are going to have a ton of great information. We have two other channels. My name is Damien Roberti. I'm a food entrepreneur. My wife, Sylvia, and I have been e-commerce business owners for over 12 years, and I've been in the food industry, worked in restaurants. I've owned my own bakery in Delhi, and I've had a lot of food industry experience. So we're gonna break down the three different types of legal entities and figure out what is actually the best for food trucks. Now, this is of course just simple advice on starting a food business. Do not take this as any type of legal advice or accounting advice at all. I'm just gonna break down some information that I am very familiar with. You can do your due diligence and find out what works best for you. Now, entrepreneurs who want to start food truck businesses should consider incorporating their company before beginning their operations. Now, the following are some of the most popular legal structures for this type of mobile food truck business. We're gonna go over sole proprietorships, we're gonna go over partnerships in LLCs, which are limited liability corporations. So struggling to figure out what type of organization would be the greatest fit for your food truck? Well, in this video, we're gonna break down those three and help you understand which one will work best. So examine the advantages and disadvantages of incorporating a food truck as each structure basically has different ways of taxation, different ways of income, and what entrepreneurs should be aware of when incorporating a food truck as each organization has different benefits and downsides, okay? Now, ownership, this is gonna be, um, uh, the single individual, this is the sole proprietorship. So ownership is held by a single individual. What is the function of this type of entity? That's the question we wanna dive into. When it comes to running a business, sole entrepreneurs or sole proprietorships are one by themselves. This entity gives the owner the ability to function as a business itself, okay? The owner of a sole proprietorship accepts complete responsibility for everything that happens to the firm, whether it's good or whether it's actually bad, okay? Be because the entity itself is not legally separated from the company by means of liability protection. What are the advantages and disadvantages of operating a sole proprietorship? The most significant advantage of being a sole proprietor is the ability for the owner itself, that would be you, and only the owner to make all of the business decisions. So there's no one else actually kind of like say in the picture making decisions day to day or daily running the food truck itself. You are the one running the show and calling the shots. Now, it is possible that a sole proprietorship will be the appropriate entity structure for a food truck if, now this is pay attention to this part, if you intend to operate it on your own and exercise entire control over it. So that means, you know, down the road, of course, you can change this entity status. Nothing is in stone, but as a sole proprietorship, you gotta keep in mind, you are the one running the show, plus you're taking out a lot of the liabilities too. Now, the disadvantages of creating a sole proprietorship is that there is no protection against responsibility. As we had previously mentioned before, the owner is liable for everything that occurs in the business, both good and bad. So do you remember what I said about this earlier? That is still the case now. The owner is responsible for anything that happens to the food truck, including debts, okay, or mishaps, such as accidentally, let's say, burning yourself, or if you fall on the floor for some apparent reason and hurt yourself, you can't obviously sue yourself. You're gonna be responsible for everything that goes on. Now, what information should I be aware of when incorporating as a sole proprietor? This organization is one of the most straightforward methods to incorporate a food truck into your business. So incorporating as a sole proprietorship is a cost-effective option also if you're on a budget. Now, which of course many of us are when I started my food business. Of course, I didn't have a million dollars at my disposal, so you had to work with what you had. The application process is actually pretty simple and there's just a little price that must be paid to submit that type of application. So don't forget to apply for any necessary business license and permits that will allow you to operate your food truck and function. And of course, we gotta remain compliant with the local food truck laws. Now, partnership. 
What is the function of this type of entity? Partnerships are a very self-explanatory type of business structure. This legal structure is a contract that permits two, okay, maybe even potentially more, but you and one other person, okay, people to perform, to form a small business partnership in order to create the actual small business. And what exactly are the advantages and disadvantages of partnerships? Now, me personally, I'm, I'm in a partnership in a sense that me and my wife own and operate our business and we are legally 50-50 down the line for ownership and everything else as far as responsibilities. But that is considered a partnership, but we're actually now um, an LLC and we transitioned to an S Corp because for tax purposes, it was actually more beneficial for us. So making a partnership is an excellent option for entrepreneur friends or family members who want to start a company in conjunction with one another, okay? So if you've always wanted to create a food truck and a food truck, mobile food truck business is what you want to do, let's say with a friend, it's likely that you would explore forming a partnership to accomplish that goal, okay? So the entity actually enables the co-founders, which would be you and one other person, to share in the company's revenues and of course losses while also working together to support the company, all right? So as a part of working together as a partnership, if it is necessary to make decisions as a group, it is possible that partners will not always agree with one another. This kind of is, makes it difficult to make judgments in some situations that you gotta be aware of, okay? When making decisions with your spouse, which is like what we do, remember that each person is responsible for their actions, so make sure that you have express approval of both partners before proceeding. Now, what information should I be aware of while I form a partnership? Much of the process for forming a partnership is similar to the process of incorporating as any other entity. You must file an application and, of course, pay a fee to do that. Following the, following the formation of your food truck partnership, it is highly advised that you draft a written partnership agreement to protect both parties' interests. Now, if you're husband and wife, you may or may not want to do that because you're obviously obvi you're already legally bound together. But if you're doing a partnership with a friend or family, make sure that you spell out what everyone's responsibility is and their stake in the business. Now, LLCs, Limited Liability Corporations. What is the function of this form of entity for a food truck business? The formation of a limited liability company or LLC provides liability protection within the entity. Essentially, this means that your personal and professional assets are kept apart from one another. This is the, one, this is the reason why we had chose to do this for our business because an LLC made the most sense. If an unexpected situation arises that has a negative impact on the food truck, such as a unintentional accident on the job, how will you actually handle that situation? So your personal assets will be safeguarded because of the limited liability filing, which ensures that you will not be held personally liable. Now, what are the advantages and disadvantages of an LLC when it comes to a food truck business? It does require some time and effort to establish an LLC, but it is one of the entity's few disadvantages. There are numerous advantages to having a food truck that is organized as a legal entity as a LLC flexible and potential tax efficiency. They also, the structure allows for the formation later of an S Corp or C Corp. That also has tax entity ramifications as well. And that depends upon your needs and your preferences as time goes on, okay? So what do I need to know about forming an LLC? Before you form an LLC, make certain that you are familiar with the rules and regulations that apply to LLCs in your specific state. Where the food truck is gonna be operating within the county and city as well, understand your state's uh, ramifications for rules and regulations about the LLC. Every state's different, by the way, just in case you didn't know. The formation of the LLC is subject to a variety of restrictions varied based upon states. Now, basically, I would recommend that you consult with your state's Secretary of State website. You can actually do this online as well, by the way. Ahead of time to ensure that you are aware of all the rules and regulations that apply to the creation of your food truck LLC. Now, in addition to submitting the articles of organization, selecting a registered agent to receive the papers of your companies on your behalf and preparing your operating agreement. By the way, if you're looking for that, not, you're not very familiar with a registered agent, down below there's a whole bunch of great resources. Check them out. Websites that you can actually create a registered agent for you. That's going to be an entity or a person who is going to get your paperwork. Any legal paperwork or documentation will be for that specific reason. Okay, so in addition to submitting articles of organization, that registered agent will receive any legal bits of information on your behalf. Okay, now what happens if you decide to take your food truck to the next level and branch out into include a multitude of food trucks all over the country? 
Because an LLC is not a publicly traded structure, you should consider changing your organization structure to a C Corp. So down the road, if you're looking to create multiple food trucks in other states, definitely take a look at doing that as a C Corp, okay? Now, that basically covers the three types of legal entities that you can look at when you try to ask, answer the question of how do you legally start a food truck. I hope this helps you out. If you have any more questions about starting a food truck, let us know down in the comments and we will get to your questions as soon as possible. And check out all of our additional free resources in the description. And I'll see you guys on our next video.